So in a previous video of mine, I talked about the Slypod Pro and how you can get cinematic shots with it and what it is and basically how to use it and that kind of thing. And then I also mentioned that you could use it with a gimbal, either the Aircross 3 or the Aircross 2. I've got the Aircross 3 here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Slypod Pro with the Aircross 3 to get different kind of shots. So if you haven't already, the first thing that you want to do is download the app on your phone. And then whilst that's doing that, if you haven't got it already, the next thing you can do is actually balance the camera on the gimbal. So I'm going to quickly do that and show you how you can do that as well. So I'm just locking off two of the axes and I'm going to just basically move these bits up and down, move each part, sorry, up and down until it's basically balanced. So once that's balanced, unlock all the points, all the axes, and then you can just switch on the gimbal. And if it's balanced, it shouldn't move when you unlock everything. Nothing should fall in any kind of direction. It should pretty much stay relatively where it is if you've balanced it correctly. So once you've balanced the gimbal and you've switched it on and you've switched on the Slypod, then you wanna start linking everything in the app. So I'm gonna do the Slypod first. And then I'm going to go back out and I'm going to link the Aircross 3 as well. Sometimes it takes a while. Cool. So once you've got both of them um, connected to the app then you just want to hit linkage control confirm and then this plus up in the top right here and then that's gonna allow you to, if I can do it that's gonna allow you to add the slide pod or whichever way you did whichever way around you did it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is set my path points for the gimbal so I'm gonna select the pan and tilt function here and just drag it around just turn it round, turn it round again. And I'm just gonna start it over in this direction over here. I'm gonna add that point and then I'm gonna add another point and I'm gonna just move it this way. I'm just gonna just do a really obvious move just so that you can see it moving whilst it is all connected and when I start the whole motion and I'm gonna add that point. Then when you've added all the points, I'm just doing two points, but on the last point, I'm gonna add my arrival time. And so I want this to last, let's say, let's do nine seconds. I'm gonna confirm that. And then once you've done that, you want to add your slide pod moves. So you're going to switch to segmentation and let's just see. So it's gonna start retracted and then I'm gonna make it come out to, where can you see it until? there you can still see it at that point yeah and I can just show you how it moves as well okay let's go let's go to there so that's the slide pod and I'm also just gonna add um, eight seconds to the slide pod to the slide pod as well then once you've done that do you set up complete and then basically start and it's gonna to return to zero. No idea what it just did then, why it went out first, but it sets it all back to zero, and then you can see it all moving. So that's essentially all you need to do for that, and I feel like there's a bit of a delay on the Aircross 3 because that stopped moving after the slide pod had finished. So 
I'm gonna do it again and just see if it does the same thing. So I kinda know what happened in terms of the gimbal finishing before the slide pod. When I was looking back through my footage, I realized that I had actually put the timings differently for each one. I just managed to scroll a little bit quicker or just not get it precise. So I think the slide pod was at nine seconds and the, no, the slide pod was at eight seconds and the gimbal was at nine seconds. So that's something to be aware of. If you're using this, just make sure that the timings match. Otherwise you get that mismatch of motion. So yeah, definitely my error. But anyway, I hope the video was useful in some way, just seeing me use it and set it all up and go through the whole motions. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.